Hi guys! This is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome if you're new. We are here with a brand new Michael's Unbagging video. Yes, I went to Michael's again, but miracle of miracles, I didn't spend a lot of money. Alright, so, before I open this, I want to explain something. Like Alice in Wonderland, I have fallen down the rabbit hole of art supplies. I started out with watercolors, water, watercolor pencils, which led to more watercolor pencils, which led to more watercolors, which led to a tutorial that said, I need gouache. And I thought, what the heck is a gouache? So I googled it and I thought, oh man. And I thought, I wonder if Michaels has any cheap stuff. And they did. So let's quickly look. This is gouache. So this is very cheap gouache. This is Artist Loft gouache, but I like their Artist Loft um, set of watercolor pencils. I think they're awesome. And I paid $4.99 for the watercolor pencils, and that's exactly what I paid for the gouache for a set of 12 different colors, and you can see them right here. So apparently this kind of paint is like the halfway point between watercolor and acrylic. It is, um, it acts like watercolor, but it's more opaque, which means you can't see through it as much as you can for watercolor. So apparently I really just need the white and a few of the other colors, but I wanted to do this fall leaf tutorial. And the lady that I was watching on YouTube, she used the fall, like she used reds and yellows and 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 um the golden colors for the leaves. So anyway, and I forgot to buy a sea sponge, but I think I might have one already at home from when I used to uh, paint reborn dolls. So I'm going to go down in the basement and see if I can find one of my old um, sea sponges. But anyway, this was regular $8.99 and I got it on sale for $4.99 because they ha I had a 40% off coupon. Or it was $9.99. And I, don't I don't even remember the regular price, but I ended up paying $4.99 for this. And also the tutorial said don't use your good paint brushes for this to buy cheap brushes. So I bought a set of the Artist Loft Super Value Brush Pack paint brushes. So um, I hope these will work. They look all right, actually. I mean, they're cheaper brushes, but look at how many you can get. So apparently these are gonna be a little bit harder and they won't wreck as easy. And I wanna fuse my good watercolor brushes on these. So this is a 25 piece set and it includes some palette knives. I think it's like size large, size medium, size small, or squares, rounds. I really don't know how they section them other than these ones are the big ones. But I don't really know what the difference is between these and these. And it doesn't really say. It just tells you how to take care of things. So it says, if for oils, clean the brush with odorless brush cleaner. I don't have any oil paints. Um, I'm not going to be buying oil paints, although that sounds like fun. But I don't want to get into all the cleaners and solvents and stuff. Acrylics and watercolor, wash thoroughly in soap and water. So yeah, and that's all it says. It doesn't say what kind of brushes they are, what size, but it does say right on the package. And it does say artist loft right on them. Let's open them up and pull a few out. I think I think they just peel open at the back here. Yeah. So let's see. So here's one of the big ones. And uh it says Artist Loft right on it, and I think it says Necessities, and it says this is the size 1. And it feels very stiff, but they all feel stiff until you kind of get rid of the stuff like that is shaping them. But I, I apparently want a stiffer brush for the gouache, and I don't even know if I'm pronouncing gouache right, but that's how other people on YouTube pronounce it, so that's what I'm going with. So that's one of them, and that's like a, a big blue one. And then here's a fan brush, and I've I've watched some people make trees with these fan brushes, like the branches of evergreen trees, but these feel pretty soft. It doesn't feel firm enough to do it. I think I need bristle brushes, but I, I couldn't find any bristle brushes, so maybe I'll check Amazon. But um, yeah, because these feel really soft, and I, I can't even read the number on this. Can you guys see it? So yeah, there's all kinds of brushes in here. There's squares and rounds. Um, there's none of those beveled ones. I don't know what those beveled ones... Oh yeah, there's one right here. I call it beveled. I don't know what this is really called. 
But I was hoping for a few more of this shape. I like that shape. I remember I used to really like this shape. I think for leaves. I can't remember now. It's been so long since I painted. But I think I've got a really good set of cheap brushes. I think, um, what did I pay for these? I think these were $7.99 regular and I, I had a coupon to get some money off. So that was good. And the gouache. And this comes with 12 uh, colors. And here's a list of the colors if you want to see them. And because I'm not a painter, I can't, even once I start using these, I don't think I could do a fair review because I wouldn't have anything to review it, like to compare it with. Because I've never, I've never used this type of paint before. And like for $4.99, these aren't going to be the best. But however, having said that, these, these had thousands of really good reviews on the Michaels website. So that really made me happy. The little girl who sighted me out, she was so cute. She looked like she was about 16, but she was probably older than that. But this little girl, she said she loves gouache paints. And she told me to get the Himi brand, H-I-M-I, -I, on Amazon. She said, if I like these and I decide I want to keep working with them, she said that's what she uses and they're not that expensive and she loves them. So I had seen those on Amazon and they're even in my wish list, but I told her I'm really afraid that they're going to spill out and get, get all over. They look like they'd be really messy. They're in like these little, they look like pudding cups and they don't have any lids. Like there's a lid for the package, but they're just open. And she says, no, they're very thick and they don't spill out. So we'll see. But I think for now, I'm just quite happy with this. All right, so that is it. There's nothing. Oh, I lie. There is something else. What did I throw in here? Oh, I got a, a white eraser. Because, I don't know, one of the people on YouTube told me to get a white eraser for my watercolor pencils. I've just been using, um, I don't know what kind of eraser it is, but it's squishy. You could play with it like it's a piece of plasticine or, or putty. So, and this works fine, but someone told me to get a white eraser, so I got this white eraser, and it's just an Artist Loft white eraser. It's a soft white vinyl eraser, and um, it says it's good for granite, okay, it says right here, and colored pencils, and that's what I got it for, and I think this was $1.99, and, and now that's all that is in here. All right, guys, so I'm excited about all these art supplies. I'm excited to try these. I probably won't be trying these till after I get some practice with watercolor. I keep thinking this should be the right way, and this should be the bottom, like, but then it's upside down. But when I look like this, my brain doesn't want to say this is the top, because for me, the flat part should be the top. So I just keep spinning them, in case you're wondering what I'm doing here. Anyway, if you like that, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any experience with gouache, or if you've ever tried the Artist Loft, let me know what you think of it. Leave your comments, and um, subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you to those of you who have. All right, guys, most importantly of all, take care and stay safe. Bye for now.